Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with people opening their own small businesses. In today's environment, I am a big believer in multiple streams of income and many people today are opening their own home-based businesses in order to generate another stream of income. However, in some circumstances, these taxpayers have incurred losses. And the question becomes, is the loss a business loss, which is allowable against ordinary income on your income tax return, or it is a hobby loss, which no deduction is allowed for? So I'm going to give you some rules that hopefully can help you out. Generally, the IRS looks at things, and if you make a profit in three out of five years, they will consider it to be a business and will allow the losses in your loss years. The reason I say generally is there's always um, some subjectivity to it. And what I mean by that is if you show a $10 profit in each of three out of five years and then you show a $25,000 loss in the two loss years, the IRS may look at it and say, you know, no, you've only generated a profit in those three years strictly to circumvent the rules. So that could be a situation where they don't have to follow the general rule. Uh, but the factors that they generally look at, because you can actually have a loss in more than two out of five years and still have it to be considered a legitimate business. It just doesn't fall under the safe harbor rule. Um, and that just means you have to prove certain things. And the factors that are looked at are, is the business carried out in a business-like manner? In other words, are there business books and records? Is there a separate bank account? Um, are evaluations made on an ongoing basis to see that the business generates profit? Um, what kind of expertise the taxpayer and or his advisors have in the industry that they're working in? Um, the time and effort expended by the taxpayer. Obviously, if it's a business that shows more effort expended, it's more likely to be considered a business. The taxpayer's prior success in similar activities. Has the taxpayer ever had a business something like this that they turned into a success? the financial status of the taxpayer. If the taxpayer has really no other source of income and it looks like they are relying on the business to eventually generate income, more likely to be considered a business. If the taxpayer is set and it looks like this is just a way to write off certain expenses, less likely. The amount of pleasure or recreation from a business. If it's a business that has a large degree of, of recreational enjoyment, that's tended to be looked at with a little bit more of a jaundice eye than something that's more business-like. Not that you can't do that, it's just, it's just another exception. Um, if you're not making a profit, it's possible that you're, let's say, in a real estate venture, but you're planning on the assets to appreciate. So that, the appreci potential appreciation would be another factor that could be looked at. So these are all things that you should be considering. Hope this tip helps you out. See you again next Tuesday.